Hey, it's Betty Penny, and I fell in love with this oddball hippie. And in my head, I could already see these cards when I saw it on the Not Too Shabby Shop page, and I had to have her. So um, if you have a few minutes and you want to hear what will probably be a pretty crazy voiceover, hang out with me. Let's make some cards. So I am making these an A9 size, I believe. Um, Carrie Rhodes does this really cool thing each month where she picks a stamp set and then each week makes cards with it. And she did one with a honeybee farm set and she made an A9 card and it was just like, whoa, I don't know if I can go there. And um, I decided to go there with this card. I really wanted this girl just to shine and oddball the stamping bella stamps are always a good size um i really like the size of the stamps and so for me it worked so um i bring in a couple of other stamp sets i have this mft which is in a haul you haven't seen yet um it actually just arrived today and i loved those little scribble clouds so yeah, they're coming in. Um, and then I also had the Studio Katia Step Timber set that I brought in for the flowers. And I was kind of just lining things up there. This Gina K is also new. I wanted an all-purpose, all-in-one uh, ink. I've kind of been trying to find the perfect one. What I'm doing right now is I'm cutting down some card fronts. So I know I'm going to be um, using ink blending and water and I'm also going to be using alcohol markers. So I want to make sure and use a card front. And it's kind of what I always do. So um, I cut those down and then I'm using my stamp positioning tool for this girl because her lines are pretty fine and I want to make sure I get a good impression and it's a brand new stamp so yeah I'm gonna stamp her out stamp her out twice because I'm doing two cards I had two ideas and um, so yeah I just make two cards at once that's why we're here right so um, this girl when I saw her I was like yes we need a little bit of hippie spirit for 2020 right <laughs> like we're gonna have to choose to be happy and choose it over the chaos that the world is throwing at us. Now, me and my faith, we don't belong to this world and this world has been overcome and my faith gets me through, right? But um, also, I do believe that like we have to make choices. We have to choose to overcome our emotions we have to choose happiness and I'm with it. So this year I'm definitely being challenged and I'm trying to keep up. And that's what this girl made me think of. So this girl has got a rainbow inside of her. I just love her. Um, so she is just radiating light, right? And that's what I'm doing here. Yellow is my favorite color. I love yellow and pink together. So that's the kind of light she's radiating. So my children are biracial and um, I've always told them that they are a rainbow, right? They have a lot of different heritage and blood running through them. And so I've always told them they're a rainbow. Well, a couple of weeks ago, the census came to knock at our door and take care of the census business. And my daughter, who's seven, wanted to participate. So I was like, sure, you know, come on, this will be good for you, participate. And so he asked, the man asked my daughter her ethnicity and she said, I'm a rainbow. And he's like, he looked at his form and he's like, yeah, I don't have that as an option. And she's like, well, can you write it in? Cause my parents have always said I'm a rainbow. <laughs> it was so perfect, I loved it. So I brought in this stencil because this is to represent like the chaos of the world, right? And 
I think it worked great. Um, the stencil is from Neat and Tangled, and I love it. I've always loved aerial views for some reason. And so I'm all about that. All right, so I have that where I want it for now. So I put it off to the side. And I move my mask over to my next card. Like you guys, I don't bother with mask very often at all. Um, but since I was doing two cards, I went ahead and took care of the mask. So this girl, now this one, I had a specific sentiment that really um, kind of excited me and I thought made me kind of go this direction with this card. So I wanted her standing on flowers because she's a flower child. Hello. <laughs> and then she's going to feel the rain, you know? So right now I'm doing my clouds and y'all can tell I'm not using a stencil or anything. So for me, sometimes my favorite way to do clouds is just to do kind of a quick and rough ink blending and it gives me the cloud feel, right? So I use um, the smoky slate as a base and then I just went over the top of it with the blue. And now I'm gonna bring in some perfect pearls because guys, she's gonna feel the rain. You'll understand more later. So um, while I was making the other card, I kind of came up with like a little bit of a poem. Okay, so I like not really writing poetry, but I like, um, and I can't think of it right now, but whatever. So, you know, a certain type of poetry where there's only so many words and the whole thing, it's, it's very short. Okay, so bear with me. <laughs> For the girl glowing, it is, goes something like this. This is what was in my head. She chose to stand still with a hollow void of chaos surrounding her. Inside, she is a rainbow. So that'll tell you where I'm at with that card. Um, I don't even have a sentiment for it in the final product because I just didn't know where I wanted to go with it. So I stamped out my scribble clouds. And then once I had my background done, I decided to color my little character. And guys, she has that Beyonce hair, but like, you know, all that hair and the fan blowing or the wind blowing. Oh man. I've got that, is something wrong with my thyroid hair? Or is this just what like middle age is about? Like where is my hair? Why is it all in the drain? But this girl, she's got Beyonce hair. So anyways, I'm gonna color her up, super fun. Now I've been card making for like five years and never really bothered to get all detailed with my Copic coloring. I leave a little bit in for you so you could just see, but I didn't bother sharing with you how I colored <laughs> the flowers or anything. And I'm just showing you like, I on everything I colored on these cards, I used a two marker blend. I didn't even bother with three. Like, just keep it simple, right? So that's my theory anyways. Like, I, uh, I gotta try to keep up with the ideas that I have and the amount of time that I have to craft. <laughs> I mean, I'm doing a voiceover at like 1.15 in the morning. <laughs> I'm trying to, uh, you know, fit it in. So, um, this girl right here is inspired by the sweetheart at the post office. So there's a really sweet young lady at the post office. She always has pink hair and then she wears this huge leopard bow in her hair. It is <laughs> fantastic. I love her. And then she has nails that are always done with like charms and stuff and they're like three inches long. She's got so much style and she's always just so happy. And so I think I'll probably actually give her this card tomorrow when I go off 
to mail off more Etsy orders. And if you're one of my Etsy customers, thank you. You guys have me at the post office all the time. <laughs> Another thing about the post office real quick. I told y'all this voiceover would be random. Um, I have a post office box now and I'm totally gearing up to doing a card share through my channel. Um, I've got a few ideas and I want to be really organized, but... Um, I'm really excited. So I got a post office box. I'm going to always pop it in the description. Um, and hopefully one day I'll have a card club going on. So yeah, I'm excited about that. I'm feeling like legitimate. <laughs> so anyways, here I am just coloring some more and hopefully entertaining you. Are you still there? <laughs> I need to go to bed. All right, so I don't even know. I'm just coloring some hair. I'm not even being real specific. You know, I'm not worrying about like, where's the light hitting and does it look wavy and curly? Mm -mm, no, I'm just throwing two colors in there wherever I want. It's so much fun. I love coloring like a five-year-old. It's fantastic. So, um, yeah, I think I'm just showing you here how I colored the flowers. So I just put in my dark color. I just go all in and I put in my dark color and then I try to blend it out with a lighter color and I'm usually happy with that. So, um, these stockings are so hilarious. I think like all the oddball characters usually have these leggings and I always have fun coloring them in. So I just found out the other day that they do digitals. So I'm going to have to explore that at some point. I'm showing you here that when I cut out my um, mask I didn't get it perfect and so I just go in with a marker that's like the same color and fill in the gaps and that always works for me okay before I put my card bases down I want to clean my mat can I tell you how many times I put a white card base on a dirty mat and messed it up <laughs> no I can't tell you it's too many times <laughs> all right so I am just going to tape down the card front and the card insert onto my base. And then that's, I mean, that's pretty much it, except for once I get this done and I'm like, okay, well, I think I'm done. I think I can go to bed now. Um, I did realize that I didn't put my sentiment on. So we'll do that here in a minute. But these were so much fun. So, you know, I had to put a rainbow on the inside because she has a rainbow on the inside of her. And I went ahead and put a little of that stencil there and it worked out. I'm glad I flipped it around like this because then that kind of looks like the ground and the blue at the top looks like the sky. I like that. That was a surprise even to me. <laughs> So here it is. I'm like, yeah, I think I'm done. Okay, we're good. And then I realize, oh yeah, this card's supposed to have a sentiment on it. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and add that real quick. Um, if this is your first time watching my videos, they're not usually this chaotic. <laughs> But if it is your first time, welcome. I'm glad you're here. So here's my sentiment. And it says, some people feel the rain. I feel the rain. I love rain so much. It rained here today and I have to go outside and stand on my porch and enjoy it every time. On the inside, it says, others just get wet. Bob Dylan. I thought Bob Dylan went great with the hippie girls. So anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for hanging out with me if you made it this far. Um, please like, subscribe, 
share, comment, all those little YouTube things that let me know that you enjoyed this video. And I hope you have a great day and remember, feel the rain.